Hey guys, Apple will be launching new iPad variants this year and I am very curious about them. If you own an iPad or if you are planning to get a new one, then this video is a sweet little update for you. In less than a month, WWDC 2020 will give us our first look at the next generation of Apple's operating systems. And this year, all the iPad users will be more curious about the iPad OS. The main thing to realize about iPad OS is that it's built on the same foundation as iOS, but it has unique, powerful capabilities best suited to the larger display of iPad. After the introduction of iPad OS 13 last year, now it's time for a new version of iPad OS which will be called as iPad OS 14. So here's what we want and expect from iPad OS 14. But before that, I am Raj and now let's get in. Now the iPad OS already features an updated home screen, new multitasking options, improved Apple Pencil functionality, support for external drives, folder sharing in files and the list goes on and on. But this year, we want some new features and improvements. We know that some recent leaks suggest that iOS 14 could add support for home screen widgets. Currently, iPad has home screen widgets thanks to Today View, where you can add widgets and other information. But there are a few limitations here. For instance, if you have multiple pages of applications, you'll only see the Today View widget on the first page. Plus, it only applies to landscape orientation and to the first page of your home screen. So, iPad OS 14 should bring better widgets for home screen. Before moving to the next feature, guys, I cover all the iPhone 12 related stuff plus all the iOS and Apple related news daily on this channel and I really don't want you to miss any of it. So, just press that subscribe button and also click on that bell icon cause it's really easy and it's free and it will also help the channel and it just takes a single tap on that subscribe button from your side. Now coming back to iPad OS 14, we want a dedicated desktop mode. A dedicated desktop mode would change the user experience completely for good. Imagine a system where the traditional iPad OS transformed into a pointer friendly one with floating windows, a cleaner home screen and a dynamic dock. The iPad isn't just a tablet anymore and Apple should fully embrace both worlds. Now this next feature may seem very small but it will help to improve the productivity of your iPad. Now I agree that a lot of work on the iPad is in the landscape mode. But for those times when we are using it in portrait mode, it's frustrating that we are limited to a single app at a time. We are not sure why Apple limits split view to landscape mode but I would love to get this split feature when the iPad is not in landscape mode. Next up, a low power mode on iPhone is great when we need to salvage the remaining battery to make sure we make it to an outlet before the screen goes totally dark. For some reason, it doesn't exist on the iPad and we're not really sure why. You can put your iPad in a low power mode by manually dimming the display and turning off Bluetooth but an automatic option just like the iPhones will be great. Also, things like better multitasking is also expected from the upcoming iPad OS 14. Also, easier access to control center and notifications is something that all the iPad users need. So let's hope for some very interesting features and changes in iPad OS 14. Well, this was my wish list. What new changes and improvements would you like to see in upcoming iPad OS 14? Let me know in the comment section. With that, we're at the end of this video. So guys, if you found this video helpful, then like the video. If you didn't like it, you know what to do. If you have any questions regarding this topic, then feel free to ask them in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel as you leave and also press that bell icon so that I can give you all the future updates related to iPad OS 14. So that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Raj and I will see you guys in my next video.